Hey guys, Whispering Tactician here. Now, before we move on, please consider dropping this video a like and subscribing as similar content is on its way. Hey guys, Whispering Tactician back with another preview and I am going to be reviewing the weekend fixtures. As you can see here, we've got Premier League fixtures and we also have FA Cup fixtures as well this weekend and I'm excited um, for both of them. Anyway, let's preview the game on, on Friday, um, which is between Everton and Tottenham. It's going to be an interesting game, both teams, if you look at the standings here, are quite close together. I think Everton have a game in hand on them and can leapfrog Tottenham, but Tottenham in my eyes, they're still not top four battle or even a battle just to get into Europe even if it's just the Europa League for them they they have to achieve something this season so it'll be very imperative for them to win this game Everton are without um, a few players such as Dominic Calvert-Lewin um, who would have started for them and Jerry Mina however they've got other players coming back such as Alan and Andre Gomez and I think uh, Pickford's also back as well yeah as we can see there so you know Everton do have some reinforcements in that side as well I do believe that um, Tottenham are, are falling off because of uh, some of the things that Jose's been saying and doing I know they're, they're without a few players and stuff but they've really got majority of the place there so I would expect them to win this game but I don't think they'll win it I think it'll be a draw I do think um, Everton have the best chance of winning the game if you ask me they're at home and they also have a lot of plays coming back as well I just think Tottenham realistically if, if you just ask me from a neutral point of view like no bias or anything they should they should really be winning games like this but that's not been Tottenham recently, ever since um, January, they've been poor, like they really have been poor, um, and you can see where they are on the table, they are 7th, they are 7th and they were in the title race um, at the end of, well, beginning of December, and they've fallen all the way off, so, I don't know, um, I, I believe Everton will finish above Tottenham if they win this game. Because I think Tottenham will just fall off. They've got a final to come up as well. I, I don't see it with, with Tottenham, really. Um, the best they can offer is Europa League. That's what I'll say. Anyway, let's move on to the next game. And the next game is between Newcastle and West Ham on Saturday. to make up but are they really going to make up 21 points I don't 
see it. Um, I really don't see it. It should be a routine. Wolves win, but Wolves have been struggling as well this season. They've not been as well as they've not been performing as well as they as we know they can, and they have been in recent seasons. So we'll see how that game goes. But I'm expecting, without looking at a lot of the team news, they should win. They really should put their stamp on that game and come out with a W. I'm saying three nil Wolves. Three nil. Let's move on to the Sunday games. Now the Sunday games, Arsenal versus Fulham. Arsenal should be winning this game. Arsenal are in ninth, and they're in that kind of mid-table um, battle with Everton, Arsenal, Leeds, Aston Villa, even Tottenham. You can kind of drag them into there. I think um, Arsenal needs to win this game. I know they had a very good um, performance in the Europa League as well. Chelsea's 
Newcastle, Burnley probably as well. So they won't need the points as much really um, going into this game. So I'm predicting a Chelsea win and Chelsea to kind of keep going up the table, keep pushing for that top four spot. And also having a quick look at the FA Cup matches that we have here. And uh, these games are really, really, really interesting. So on Saturday, you've got probably the bigger one of the two two games, um, City versus Chelsea. And uh, a very big game, a very tactical game, I would imagine as well, because both teams are in really um, good form for the, like, the past three months. They've been in really good form. Chelsea, ever since they've got two go, have been on fire as well. So, um, a very uh, interesting game. And I can't wait to watch that game. I can't wait to, to analyse and see who's, um, who won the tactical battle. And I would imagine the game would actually be quite tight until about the last 10, 15 minutes. Maybe one team is chasing it and they try and come out of their shell. I'm going for a 2-1, 3-1, I don't know who to though, because it depends, it just depends who can take hold of the game quicker um, and exploit the other, I think, as my good as C have been, C are beatable, it's just are they beatable um, when, they're, when there's trophies on the line, I don't know, in the league they are, because they've basically wrapped that up. Are they, are they gonna let this slip? Because they're on for a quadruple right now. Do you know what I mean? This next week, uh, or this this week where they play Dortmund, they play this FA Cup semi final, and they also play the final next week. It's gonna be extremely important to see the mentality of this city side. They've already come through one challenge. Are they gonna do it for the other two? I'm I'm saying two on C. A C just get through it and they win the game. But I also see Chelsea winning it, but I'm saying 2 1 C. Um, the other FA Cup tie, if I can scroll over, is between Leicester and Southampton. Now, um, I think Leicester beat, Leicester beat Manchester United in the, semi, in the quarter final and Southampton beat Bournemouth to get there. Two two teams that came through quite different opposition I mean for Southampton it was a lot more simpler but you know what it is with this I hope Southampton go through just because they have had a up and down season it'd be great for them to get to a final but I also want Leicester to go through as well so I'm kind of undecided I think both teams have had a good journey this season I think Leicester has been better because obviously they're in the top four but Southampton, I'd love for them to get to a final to, you know what I mean, for them to, um, for their fans to have a day out, if it's possible at that time, um, at Wembley, it'd be great for them, and so would, it'd be the same for Leicester as well, I mean, they've not been to a final for how long now, it'd be great for them to get to one as well, so, um, in terms of just analysing the game, or previewing the game, I, I just think Leicester will beat them, but it's the, it's the FA Cup, the magic of the FA Cup, anything can happen. So I'm saying Leicester 2-1, but I still want Southampton to give them a good game, to if they can win, do you know what I mean, it'd be good as well, because I want I want to see them at, at Wembley as well, um, in the final, so I'm going Leicester 2-1 anyway. Anyway, thank you guys very much for listening, and I'm going to cover the Champions League um, review as well, looking at the, the, the games that um, were played as well, I think that'd be really interesting and also the rest of the preview will be up probably on Tuesday um, in anticipation for the Wednesday games as well, because I know there's football on every day, <laughs> alright, so that'll be really good, anyway thank you guys very much for listening, hopefully um, you just uh, relax and, and either listen to this um, I'll catch you on the next video. Thank you guys very much for listening.